From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matter. Mass for the Homeless and Fraternity Involvement. Hello, I'm Robert Quintana, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Elena Urrutia. Many organizations are concerned with their image, and fraternities are no exception. Reporter George Campos explains how local chapters of fraternities have pledged to promote community and opportunity in order to end some misconceptions. Fraternity men all over America have to live with this bad reputation and stereotype. However, many people don't know what a fraternity really does and how they impact the community. Great communities promote high standards of scholarships, develop leadership skills, and provide community service to raise money for different philanthropies. Fraternities have a bad reputation because of the whole party lifestyle, but it's more than that. There's things that we do for the communities as well. We go out and we do community service to help out other organizations, you know, when they donate food to people in need. I guess the importance of it is we give back to the community rather than, you know, just the community looking at us as someone who just drinks and parties. We're involved in various programs. Um, one of them is called Adopt the Highway, which we go every two weeks and clean the highway off here of University Parkway. We have like a little segment. There's a sign that says Capital City Fraternity. We clean up like part of the highway because this, this is our city, so we have to clean it up. I know during the finals week and dead week, um, the library is kind of full. So we rent out a U room in the SU or you know anywhere on campus, and that's a dedicated place for all Greeks and non Greeks to uh, study and you know it's a quiet place, provide snacks and water. So before you walk by the Greek tables and ignore them or stereotype them, ask them some questions, get to know them. Maybe you might be surprised of how it benefits not only your life but everyone around you. For local matters, I'm George Campos. San Bernardino City School students are saving the environment one plastic bag at a time. Reporter Alexandra Winter explains. Sleeping outside isn't fun for anyone, especially if you're homeless. But here's how some students took a stand to try to help them out. It takes about a month to make one mat and 75 bags to make one ball and about 500 bags just to make one mat. My students, fourth graders, nine years old, they've been working on mats for the homeless. They took the plastic shopping bags that you see all over the community and maybe may just collecting under your sink. They took all of those bags, brought them in, cut them into strips, tied them up to make like little yarn balls, same way you would do with yarn and crocheted them into making mats for the homeless. We are here to make mats out of bags to help the homeless lay on something much softer than the ground and it's also easy for them to get clean by just rinsing it with water and it also dries fast. We got some signs on it. You matter? Parkside Elementary School fourth graders kept about 3,000 plastic bags out of landfill and used them to make clean, portable mats for the homeless to sleep on. You could make something with those plastic bags instead of throwing them around. Children are going to keep working in that area and it's going to be ongoing because they enjoyed it so much and felt like they were really part of the community and that they were helpful and they matter. With the help and dedications of these students, the homeless will have somewhere sound to sleep tonight. For Local Matters, I'm Alexandra Winter. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm Elena Urrutia. And I'm Robert Quintana. Join us next time for more Local Stories That Matter.